If, if I could just say, uh, you know, like um, when you quoted Romans chapter 10 with regards to like whoever says Jesus is Lord and God has raised him from the dead, uh, would that also include Mormons as being Christians? Because I understand Mormons also say that Jesus is Lord and God raised him from the dead and also Jehovah's Witnesses. I think uh, Romans 10 verse 9 is clarified by Romans 10 verse 12 where the lordship that is referred to is Yahweh. Um, and so we import that which we know about Yahweh in the Old Testament, and it's very clear. Yahweh teaches he is the only God, whereas Mormons believe in more than one God. Uh, they're henotheists, they're not monotheists. But does and that so, also include Jesus as being God in Mormon's belief? Uh, the reason, I don't catch your question. Well, well I suppose that the question is, yeah. um, do, nonetheless, as Mormons do believe in gods, Jesus is one of the gods, though I suppose what you'd be saying there, um, I would presume, Nabil, is that Mormons don't quite have the same belief in in the equality of Jesus in the Godhead, as it were. Yeah, that's yeah, and that's where I just said in Romans chapter mm. ten, verse twelve. Just three verses later, it makes it pretty clear through a reference to Joel that the Lordship here is Yahweh Himself, not some other god. So, do, would Ahmadis consider Muslims to be Muslims? Um, well, as far as or, um, and, Ahmed, actually, all yeah. the all the all the Ahmadis that I knew did consider Muslims to be Muslims. Just for those who aren't aware of the terminology, and forgive me, um, ah Ahmadi is a particular... It's named after the founder, um, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. And um, Ghulam Ahmed um, believed... Well, for example, Lahoris is a subgroup of Ahmadis called Lahoris. And um, mainstream Ahmadis don't consider them to be Muslims simply because they reject um, Ghulam Ahmed as being a messenger of Allah. And they're based it upon, like, chronic verses that... Uh, if a messenger is rejected, then um, those are unbelievers. Mm. So in the same way, since uh, Muslims do not believe Glam Ahmed is a is a is a, a prophet of God or, or messenger, um, Ahmadis wouldn't also consider Muslims to be Muslims. Right. And, and are you kind of drawing a comparison between that sort of distinctions and, and the way that, that, that N N Nabil doesn't yeah. see Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses as as Christians, Christians or um, brothers in faith? I mean, uh, we, uh, but I would my yeah. my immediate response to that would be that uh, when it comes to a community and their identity, um, the identity formation of a community is what separates them from others at the initial phases of their faith. And so, when it comes to Christians and what really matters to them, their theology, the one, the fact that there is one God, monotheism, is inherent in their identity as well as the idea that Jesus is that God. Um, that's inherent in the Christian identity. I, I'm not entirely sure why we're bringing up Lahori and these sure. in this discussion about the historical Muhammad, but, but whatever the, the, thing is whatever you, the criterion that's... But the other thing is you mentioned in the book that you prayed to Muhammad as well, and as far as I know, that would nullify... I, I, never, I never prayed to... It, it says I, in, I, I, I'm, I'm, okay. finding, I'm finding this, this line of questioning to be irrelevant to the issue we're discussing, that's but that said, I never said I prayed to Muhammad It's in page in 24 of, of the book. Page 24, yeah, you mentioned... The, when you, when you do the atashad um, in the, in the salat right after you do the sajda, mm. um, there is a portion where you speak directly to Muhammad, and that's what I was referring to. But once again, I would request that we stay on our. I mean, our, sure. I, I can go back to. I, I think I think that might be fair because obviously the 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 driving point of of what Nabil has been saying is that he found that compared to the evidence for Christ and, mm. and Christianity, the evidence for the prophet, that, that, the, this statement of faith mm. that, that makes you... Welcome back. Do you ever wonder if someone is lying to you? Well, there are some things that you can look for to find the truth. And we brought in a polygraph examiner to put five people to the test and show you how to be a human lie detector. What about people who try to change the conversation? 
it makes almost everybody a little bit uncomfortable lie. So if they can say something else in a tangential way and get you to accept that, then they don't have to lie. I, I'm not entirely sure why we're bringing up Lahori and these sure. in this discussion about the historical Muhammad, but, but whatever the other thing the, is, you, you also mentioned being, in the book that you prayed to Muhammad as well, and as far as I know, that would nullify. I, I never, person. I never prayed to. It, it says I, in, I, I, I'm, I'm okay. finding, I'm finding this this line of questioning to be irrelevant to the issue we're discussing. But once again, I would request that we stay on our. I, I mean, I shall. I loved Allah, I loved Islam, I loved Muhammad, I loved my parents, I loved everything that I'd ever grown up with, but that didn't make it true. So let's start off. I actually used to believe the same things that Farhan used to believe before he became an Orthodox Sunni Muslim. Farhan is a former, um, let me see if I get this right, Ahmadiyya. But whatever the other thing the, is, you, you also mentioned being, in the book that you prayed to Muhammad as well, and as far as I know, that would nullify. I, I never, person. I never prayed to. It, it says I, in, I, I, I'm, I'm okay. finding, I'm finding this this line of questioning to be irrelevant to the issue we're discussing. That's but that said, I never said I prayed to Muhammad. It's in page in twenty-four book. of of the book. Page twenty-four. Yeah, when you, you mention when you when you do the atashad um, in the, in the salat right after you do the sajda. Mm. Um, there is a portion where you speak directly to Muhammad, and that's what I was referring to. But once again, I would request that we stay on our. I, I mean, I shall... When I was younger, my parents were very, very devout, and I was devout as a result of that. Back reading the afternoon prayers, you know, Islam was ingrained in my being, and as such, my parents were very, very proud of me because I was the Muslim child that they were proud of raising. I came from a line of missionaries and my, my family treated Islam, therefore, as an integral part of their lives, not something that ju they just did on the side. So Allah, uh, the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, we were all uh, very much reverent. Subhana Rabbi al-A'la, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la, Allahu Akbar, Rabbi Ghfirli, Allahu Akbar, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la, Allahu Akbar. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. اشتروا بآيات الله ثمنا قليلا فصدوا عن سبيله إنهم ساء ما كانوا يعملون 